Hello everybody, how are you? This time we're going to read A Christmas Carol, novel by Charles Dickens, dramatized by Frederick Gaines. Before we start, I want you to know about the following information. Industrial Revolution in England. The Industrial Revolution of the 19th century made possible the manufacture of cheaper toys and goods for people to exchange with each other. It created a class of poor factory workers who lived in miserable, crowded conditions, and it also created a class of wealthy business owners. In A Christmas Carol, Dickens urged these wealthy citizens to give to the poor at Christmas, helping to establish the tradition of charity during this holiday season. Cultural Connection Christmas car Traditions A Christmas Carol, the novel by Charles Dickens upon which this play is based, is credited with reviving an interest in Christmas celebrations, such as decorating Christmas trees and giving gifts. Other Christmas traditions can be traced to cultures around the world. Here comes the big question. How important is money? Have you heard people saying that? Money makes the world go wrong. Show me the money. Time is money. You can't buy happiness. There are many sayings about what money can and can't do, about what is and what it isn't. In A Christmas Carol, the main character's opinion about what it means to be wealthy changes drastically by the end of the play. Text Analysis Theme in Drama To identify the theme in a drama, notice the action and dialogue between characters. What characters do and say provides clue to the play's message. Characters' actions, the setting, and events are often explained in stage directions which are set off in parentheses. For example, identify the theme revealed in this dialogue. John and Erica are having coffee. Erica, you look great. Have you been on a vacation? John, no, I gave my fortune away to charity. I have never been happier. The theme may be money can buy happiness. As you read A Christmas Carol, try to focus not only on what the characters say and do, but also on how and why they say and do those things. Then ask yourself what message the playwright is sharing. Reading skill. Understand sequencing plot. Knowing the order of events in a work of literature helps you better understand the work's theme. Events are not always presented in the order in which they happen. The reader may be taken backward or forward in time. Take a look at the plot diagram. In a diagram, clues about the order or sequence of events often appear in the stage directions. The titles of the scenes also provide clues about the sequence of events. As you read A Christmas Carol, use a sequence wheel to help you keep track of the initial sequence of events. In this dramatic version of Dickens' tale, Ebenezer Scrooge journeys through time with ghosts of Christmas past, present, and yet to come. He sees the innocent, happy person he was and the miserably sad old man he has become. As you read A Christmas Carol, ask yourself to think about the importance of all three spirits, Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas yet to come, in helping to bring about a change in Scrooge. Check the vocabulary. So, are you ready to read? For homework, theme in drama worksheet. Fill in the diagram with details from the play to describe what lesson each spirit teaches Scrooge. Then write the theme. Understand the sequencing plot worksheet. Complete the chart with details from the play to show the sequence of events. Letter to Marley. Imagine that you are Scrooge. Jacob Marley has asked you which of the ghosts had the strongest impact on you. Jot down the names of each ghost. Make a drawing of each ghost, the way you imagine them. Under each name, list what the ghost taught you and the effect it had on you. Decide which ghost was most responsible for changing your behavior. Then write a letter and in two paragraphs explain to Marley which ghost you chose and why. Alright, have fun!